So in this video, we're reviewing how to make money online with the nerd wallet method and how complete beginners are earning $100 to $700 a day with no experience. More with that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Fasil here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop, where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. We literally have a 62-year-old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days. Sign up for it now with this new method. So this probably is one of like my favorite business models that I've ever seen, and I'm literally modeling it to a T because of the fact that how successful they are. And probably if you're watching this video, you already know what that company is. It's Nerd Wallet. Now, a lot of people don't know what Nerd Wallet is, right? But the craziest thing is they're just a simple affiliate marketing business where they don't have any products, yet they do $200 million a year. In fact, here's a simple blog that's an affiliate marketing business that recently just went public, right, and had an IPO, and turned out that they're literally pulling in $228 million in revenue in 2019, $245 million in 2020, and a lot of it, a lot of it is actually really, really profitable, right? Really, really profitable without actually having their own products. So when you see what they did and you literally have a simple blog that just had an IPO, you're like, what the heck is that possible? And if people are able to go ahead and do that, making $200 million a year without owning their own products, can you go ahead and make money online and make your first hundred dollars a day. You know, this is a concept that we keep on breaking in because for example, when people go ahead and come into our community, you know, and you know, they're on our newsletter and they go from like zero to 30 grand a month in five to eight weeks, right? Like Dina at age 47 or Ilio who made a hundred grand in two months, right? Or uh, Greg at age 58 went from zero to 30 grand a month in five to eight weeks. Or even like, for example, Francisco who's from Chile, who only like the monthly salary in Chile is only $500 a month go from zero to 30 grand a month, they're like, oh my God, that's cool for them, maybe they're smart. That can never happen to me. But they're literally, that's like literally nothing compared to how much Nerd Wallet makes, right? So there's a method to make money in line that's proven, and when you start seeing what's actually possible, you start realizing that, oh my God, I should be able to ask for more when it comes to making money online. So let's actually break down what the Nerd Wallet business model is, and their uh, ways of making money online, and how you could actually go ahead and do it for yourself. So they have a very simple business. It's just an affiliate marketing business. Now you're probably wondering if you don't know what affiliate marketing is, it's like you go ahead and make money by matchmaking somebody to a product that they're already looking for, right? So if you break down Nerd Wallet, you can see exactly what it is. They go and they say best credit cards. And this, like most of their money actually comes from this one blog article right here. Best credit cards right here. Because what it is, is they kind of like compare all of these credit cards and all of these offers right here. Whenever someone goes ahead and signs up for this Chase card or this Wells Fargo card, they can earn anywhere from like, you know, NerdWallet will earn anywhere from like 700 bucks and maybe upwards, I've heard to like 1,000 or 2,000 bucks for whenever someone signs up for like one of these credit cards, right? So you can see how that like literally adds up. Now, NerdWallet doesn't have their own credit card. They're essentially a matchmaker service recommending you credit cards that they recommend and when you go ahead and, for example, apply now, you immediately get transferred and redirected to a financial institution where if you go ahead and sign up for this credit card, NerdWallet gets heavily, 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 heavily compensated for it. Like you can see this, look, creditcards.chase.com, Chase Sapphire, now you're not on NerdWallet anymore, you're on Chase.com. If you literally apply now and you know literally get the card, NerdWallet gets money for it. Now here's the thing, they make all this money, but yet they own no product. And I think that this is literally where the business of the future is going into. Like if you really think about it, Facebook is the largest media provider in the world, they write no content. Alibaba is the largest manufacturer in the world, they own no warehouses. You know, Airbnb is the largest real estate provider in the world, they own no real estate. Uber is the largest taxi company in the world, they own zero vehicles. NerdWallet is one of the largest like credit card companies in the world recommending credit cards, but yet they own no credit cards. Like, do you see the power of this business model of affiliate marketing? That's why all these people, you know, they went from zero to 30 grand a month because they did not have to worry about the product. They just focus on the distribution, which you're probably wondering, well, then what's NerdWallet's distribution? NerdWallet has one main client acquisition machine, and that's just ranking on Google. Ranking on Google. You know, there's people ranking for like random things on Google and you're like, oh, these bloggers make six figures a year. You know, NerdWallet does the exact same thing as these bloggers, but because they were just more consistent at it, they now make more money, right? 
And it's not just them. You know, I think more people are starting to realize that when you see people like, for example, Dollar Sprout do the exact same thing. Dollar Sprout is a similar business model to Nerd Wallet, where they essentially recommend you know products that they don't create themselves. They have no products themselves, and they made 347 grand in two months. But here's the craziest thing, right? All their business is is they create content based off of a product that already exists, right? And when someone goes and sees that content and reads the blog article and then takes action on that product, they get a commission on the back end. Now let's actually see how much they made in the first year. Zero dollars, right? Look at that. One year, they're doing it for zero dollars. The second year, they only got it to the point where they're only making a thousand dollars a month, right? Now, let, let me just put this in a retrospective to other business models, because like, I'll, I want to, you to show you just how important this thinking is. So I literally went from 1.0 to 1.6 million that first year in one of my business, right? But no one understands that that business, literally, if I go ahead and do money right here, and time right here, that business literally looked like this. Zero to 1.5 million that first year, let's actually make it smaller. Zero to 1 million that first year, and then it just crashed and it went negative because I lost a bunch of money. But you literally have Nerd Wallet and Dollar Sprout just publish content year after year after year. The first year, I'm a winner because I made more money than them, right? Within year two, year three, year four, year five, year six, year seven, year eight, year eight, nine, ten, and then now it's like up there. This is the traditional way to make money in line. People are like, oh, look how much money they're making right now. This is how Nerd Wallet and Dollar Sprout make money. It's through compound interest. It's literally picking something so simple, stupid, not focusing on a product because it's hard creating products, right? But focusing on one simple thing that compounds year after year after year after year, right? So I started seeing this and I was like, oh my God, that's literally their business model. You see this? That's literally their business model. Look at this. Nothing, 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 bam, bam, bam. That's literally the dollar, the, the, the nerd wallet business model. Nerd wallet, their way of making money line, I think they made like $500 their first year, like, a couple thousand dollars, I think $8,000 the second year, maybe year three or year four was like $60,000 that year, right? And any startup that would see them would just laugh because dude, seriously, you've been at it for years and you're not making any money, right? And, and you gotta start thinking about, like these ways of making money is a lot more longer thinking than possible, right? And that's what happened with the founder. He literally had a vision. He was like, okay, if I just stick to creating high quality content consistently, like things are just gonna add up over and over and over and over again. If I just focus on good content and recommending products that I don't have to create, I don't have to take a lot of my mental bandwidth to make this product better because there's financial institutions that will make this really good of a product. I just gotta focus on creating content. And if you really think about it, when I started seeing that, I was like, dude, I gotta start doing the same thing. So what did I do, right? I did multiple things to follow this method. And I'm gonna reveal all of them and how I'm literally doing the nerd wall business model right now. I realized that this compound interest, this thing right here, works on so many different things. Anything related to content and search has this potential to make money with Nerd Wallet, with the Nerd Wallet model. So if you see my business, what is it? It's YouTube, and then it's Google, and then it's Pinterest, right? This is where I see the Nerd Wallet approach, right? Uh, Nerd Wallet makes all their money on Google, so I'm doing it on Google. Um, I know people that make six figures a month on Pinterest alone and say more on YouTube, right? All of these are search engines, and all of these have the ability to create content which has this compound interest growth, like for example, Nerd Wallet or Dollar Sprout. Now the thing is, I gotta just focus on doing that. So even if I run YouTube ads and Facebook ads, that's still not the most important part of my business, right? All of the money that I make from my YouTube ads and my Facebook ads go into building these things because that's what compound interest. And the more money that I make from YouTube ads and Facebook ads, I just grow these further. So how did I do compound interest? You know, in the beginning of this year, I told myself, oh, let me go ahead and start making like three videos a day, right? Why? Because everyone else is not as crazy as I am and they won't be able to do it. But I know that that will just compound and compound over time. And guess what it did financially? You know, half of which you could see like now pulls in like good money, 35 to 46 grand. And this is just half of my income that comes from me creating all of this content, right? So you can see that the compound interest actually happened a lot faster when I was willing to be a lot more crazier in my average daily velocity of content. Because Nerd Wallet, they were doing like a couple articles like, you know, a month, and then they got it to the point where they're doing like 300 to 500 articles a month, right? So that's literally like 10 articles to like 15 to 20 articles a day that they were publishing. And I was like, okay, 
If I wanted to do the nerd wallet method as opposed to people that make YouTube videos, most YouTubers make only three videos a week or three videos a month. Nerd wallet publishes 10 pieces of content a day. Right, so I need to go and try to get to that maximum and I realize that three a day is like my limit or else I will literally just explode out of exhaustion, right? Especially when you do the long-term things. So you can see that already, that financially was already really, really rewarding. But now that I started making money, guess what I did? I hired people to run you know, my Google ads and my YouTube ads and I ended up making more money in which I now am investing heavily in my blog, right? Because I know breaking on Google is what NerdWallet does. That's literally their bread and butter. So I was like, okay, how can I find my niche? That is similar to NerdWallet, but a little bit different. And how can I do it so it's very uncompetitive to me? So I started realizing, I'm like, okay, I'm kind of like in the e-commerce space. So I'm just gonna start making as much pieces of content on my blog as possible, right? So now we're literally compounding on our blog. We've got to the point now where we're making anywhere from 20 to 30 articles a month, but I wanna get it to the point where we're publishing, like I told my partner um, who's also like helping running this blog with me, I'm like, dude, we need to get to the point we're publishing um, 10 articles a day, because that's what NerdWallet did. Now we're not there yet because it's very expensive to go ahead and do it, so all of the money that we make is literally going to fund that. NerdWallet raised 100 million to go ahead and hire all these people. I don't wanna raise money, right? But I realize like with my business model, I can literally go ahead and create money up front with my skill set of YouTube ads, Facebook ads, and just creating content and hire the people to go ahead and you know help me create content on my blog, right? So that was literally the model that we saw. And like right now we're at about like 20, to, like I said, 20 to 30 articles a month. I wanna get to the point where we're publishing 10 to 20 articles a day. We're not yet, there yet, but it's, it's just really, really good to know where we're going. And then you have people like making a lot of money on Pinterest. Again, it's very similar to Google and YouTube. It's a search engine that lot, not a lot of people are taking advantage of it. But the people are do are making a lot of money. Like this girl makes a lot of her money from Pinterest, a hundred grand a month. Same thing with these people. They make $86,000 a month. A lot of it comes from Pinterest, right? So I was like thinking, I was like, dude, people are sleeping on Pinterest. It's a search engine. I gotta go start compounding on it. And now look at this. We're getting about 91,000, 91,000 monthly views to our Pinterest account. Right, all of it are going to my blog, which then is helping me rank on Google. So that, in essence, is the NerdWallet method applied to multiple different platforms. The original one, which is Google, but you know they raised a lot of money to go ahead and do it. So I had to raise money by just building my business on YouTube and funding my Google machine and my Pinterest machine. But the secret about this is, are you willing to be patient when you're not making any money for the first couple of years, knowing that literally within the time that someone normally takes to finish college, it already creates life-changing income. And the way that I'm starting to think about it is I'm like, if I was willing to spend 40 grand a year for a college education, just so that I could get a 60 grand a year job and not make any money in the process in those four years, I might as well just see this as my education of learning the nerd wallet method and just scaling that way. And if you wanna learn exactly how people are doing this and building the skills to acquire the distribution method on exactly how these people are able to go from zero to 30 grand a month in five day weeks, sign up for this week's free workshop below and check out this podcast and this video right here. Hope this helps, I love you guys, see you guys later, woo!